Hey, what's going on, people? Today's video is going to be on the P365 uh, grip module swap out. All right, I happen to have the P365 NRA edition. All right, the one that came into three mags. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to swap out the grip module to a XL frame. All right, and still keep the same slide. And I think it's going to be two tone. It's going to look nice. So a couple of things I want to talk to you about is I actually got the grip module from Osage County. Um, you happen to have the XL frame. I think the XL was $40 and the regular 365 was actually only $20. So I got a black grip frame module from them. All right. And the 365 one also. Okay. Now the reason why I got the black, all right, in the regular P365 is because the, as you can notice here, it doesn't come with the magazine release button. All right, even from Sig, it doesn't come with it for some strange reason. I don't know why, but they decided not to give you that extra piece. Okay, so in order to order that piece, that's about fifteen dollars for that piece. You know, with the spring and everything in it. And meanwhile, on Osage County, this was twenty, all right, or twenty-one dollars. So I said, you know what, might as well just get the extra module and take out the magazine release, which I already did. All right, I'll show you how to do it, how to take it out. Um, and this way you can put it into the other grip module, okay? Um, for better instruction on how to take it out, <laughs> you might want to go to uh, Gunstock Reviews. Uh, Emil on there explains it a lot better than I do. His camera action is a heck of a lot better than mine too. So, but the basically, and I'll show you on this one, all right? So if you push, and I'm gonna try to get it as close to the camera as possible, is a little pinhole right here all right and you, what you do is you want to get either a paper clip or a very thin punch like this one and you slide it into that hole and then when you get it in there and i'll show you on this one okay see it's stuck in the hole right now and what you're going to do is you're going to pick this piece out over here this little triangle with your thumbnail pull that and once that comes out the other side it'll just come right out but make sure you keep your finger over here because it is a spring in there and you don't want it to pop out all right and the noise you hear in the background is one of my dogs trying to open up the garbage can get out of there all right so excuse the noise my maniac dogs over here lexi get yeah lexi luna and bella nut jobs okay all right so now the P365 frame. What you want to do in order to install it, and this is what the pieces are going to look like. And there's actually a little spring that rides on the rail. So there's a slot there, so you want to keep that that way. All right, now, I am a righty, so I'm going to make sure that the magazine release is on the left-hand side. So you want to hold it up in the air like this, all right? And you want to put it so that the spring is up in the air. You're going to slide that in and you want to try to guide it through so you're not dropping the spring. I know I got to turn it away from the camera here. You can see it kind of working its way in. It'd be easy if I had an extra hand, but I don't. I swear, folks, Emil makes it look a heck of a lot easier. Almost in. Let me take a little pick here. Okay, it is in. Now, if you get it in right, you can see it's pushing itself in and out. All right. So now, I'm going to take the piece that holds it all together, and there's a little tab. The camera focuses. All right, so you want that facing up, so this clips in. And it's kind of hard to do on this camera angle here. And you heard that little snap? And I believe that's it. That's it. Okay, it's in. It's working. 
Okay. okay, putting it together is easier than taking it apart. <laughs> All right, so that's the 365 grip module. Now, let's remove the slide on the regular size 365. For those of you who don't know how to do it, what you're gonna do when the gun, of course, is unloaded, All right, is you're gonna pull back the slide, pull the lever down, it comes right off. There's no pulling the trigger on this one. So now in order to remove the uh, order to remove the trigger mechanism on this one, you have to pop out the pin that's over here. All right, so I have my little, whatever you call it, uh, <laughs> gunsmithing tool here. All right, I'm just gonna put this on there, center on one of the holes. I'm gonna take my punch again now. This is a little bit thicker punch than I used before. And I'm just gonna push through and actually I think it's the other side. the other side okay so now that's out as you can see the pin's gone it should come right out and it does yep that was actually easier than my p320 okay so now to put it in you want to do the same thing you want to drop it in line everything up of course, on camera. Get away from that Christmas tree. Doors are going on to the Christmas tree. All right, so. There you go. All right, you hear that snap? All right, apologize for that pause there, folks. I had to move the dogs away from the Christmas tree. All right, um. And again, I apologize also for the bad camera angles here. Um, I <laughs> recently moved to Arizona and I cannot find my tripod set. I don't know where the wife hit it. So uh, kind of weird angle I'm working off of right now until I get another one. Anyway, that being said, I'm having uh, one Victorian Bulldog and two uh, English Springer Spaniel puppies um, is uh, not easy running around the house at the same time. So we got the trigger mechanism inside the XL frame, all right? Now, got to put the pin back in. So let's find that pin. And let's just make sure. I'm pushing it in. A little bit thicker of a punch. And it looks like it's all the way through. Yep. All right. So the pin's in. Let's put the slide on and see how this thing looks. Okay. Okay. So everything's working properly, and that's what it looks like. So again, this is the P365. All right, this is the Coyote Tan NRA Edition with the XL frame. Uh, I can get all my fingers wrapped around this without a problem. All right. And that's what it looks like. Now, one thing I want to explain to you guys. So I just ran into a problem as I was putting this slide back on. All right, the takedown lever was not going back into the position. Okay, so in order to correct that, you have to actually push up on your magazine release a little bit, and then you're able to move the lever back up. Uh, I've noticed that sometimes on the p 65 when you take it down, when you rack the slide back, sometimes it doesn't always sit right back in the same spot. So if you have that issue, just push up on the magazine release a little bit, then you're able to push the slide release, um, the, the uh, takedown lever back into position. Man, I wish I could talk today. All right, so now, that being said, all right, so yes, this has have rounds in it. Does not fit, right? Okay, we know that. And here we go. All right. Osage County also carry this also. So it comes with the 12 round mag, right? And this is the 12 round mag that happens to be for the regular P365. But they give you the base plate so it'll work on the other. And as you can hear, my dog's going out to cut it out, you guys. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push down on the spring here. Get your punch. And I just gotta figure out the right direction here. Okay, so pushing down and then pushing forward. You can see I'm pushing forward with my thumb. And let's pull this out. Now just be careful because that is spring loaded in there. And I should be able to get out. There we go, we got the sleeve off. Now remember, I still got my thumb on that, holding everything down. Now I'm gonna take the other Sigmag base plate. Slide that out. There we go. You heard it click back in place. Now it fits. Drops great. Perfect. Oh, perfect fit. Now, I did hear that the pinky extension one would fit in here. So I'm going to actually go grab it and see how that works so you guys can see. Alright, I'm back. Here's a 10 rounder with the pinky extension. So let's see how this works. Let's pop this out. Nope. Wherever I heard that from, Not a 10 rounder anyway, but might work if I swap this pinky extension out over this 12 rounder. Hmm. What do you guys think? Let's give it a shot. Let's drop these rounds out of here. Okay. So I'm going to take this one off. Let's see what happens. Popping that out. Same drill as before. Hold that thing down. Hold that spring, otherwise that thing can go flying on you. That wasn't too smart of me. Rounds out of this one. All right. Yeah, let's see if I can temporarily hook this up. Just to hold it in place. Let's see. That looks horrible, but let's just. Hold in place when I pop this one off. Right, so, let's see, let's hope that stays there. All right. I know I'm probably confusing the hell out of you. So, again, this is a 12 round old mag. Now let's put the pinky extension on the 12 rounder. Let's get lined up right. Okay, it's in. Let's see how it works. Be holding. Hmm. It looks cool if it worked, but 
I mean, it seems like it's holding in. I mean, it definitely ejects, but you really gotta jam it in there. So I guess if you don't have a plate, you can use the pink extension on a 12 rounder, you know, and that'll work for you. There you go. Let's see. All right, so in closing, all right, this is the P365 XL grip module with the P365 NRA edition slide, okay? So what I had to do on here is I had to take out the magazine release all right, from another P365 grip module, and put it on that one. Now, I did buy an extra 12 round magazine. Osage County carries them. I have nothing affiliated with them. Um, they're cheaper than actually on SIG's websites and they actually carry the grip modules which are cheaper than on SIG's website. The grip module, the magazine that they send you, the 12 rounder, all right, does come with a base plate on it and it, gi it gives you the option to change out their base plate, which is this one, okay, for the XL frame, or you can use the base plate that comes with it, which is the actual base plate for the regular P365. I know it sounds confusing as fuck, okay, um, but that's how it works. Now, the pinky extension that comes with the, the P365, if you take it off, and you put it on the 12 round magazine, all right? Like I just did, it'll go in if you slam it in. So like I tried to order an extra base plate so I didn't have to do this, but they were out of the base plates and so was SIG's website was out of the base plate at the time. So for a pinch, like right now, I'll use it. The base plate's only like 10 bucks or I'll order another base plate or maybe I'll get one from NDZ or somebody. Um, but you know, for a regular base plate to figure on there. Other than that, oh, this will work in a pinch. You just got to pop it in. Okay, and it does eject. As you see, and here's the regular 12 rounder. Now we don't even have to pop in. But I think it looks cool. Let me know what you think. I know it's confusing as hell. If you have any questions, please put them down below. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Um, in order to change out the magazine release, I showed you quickly how to do it. I'm not the greatest at it. Uh, if you want, go to Gunstock Reviews. Emil has a much better video on how to change this out or to remove this uh, magazine release button. Yeah, his video action is a heck of a lot better than mine. Other than that, thank you very much. Hope you liked it. Sorry it was so long. Have a great day. Subscribe.